What's up guys, it's Kerry from KJB back again with another episode of the Leicester City career mode. I do hope that I find you very well indeed today. This is probably the toughest episode we've had on this career mode today. We have Chelsea at home in the Premier League, then we've got Napoli away in a must win Europa League tie. We'll get more into why it's must win later on, but in the meantime, let's see the lineups for Chelsea. So, it's a bit of a change. Castagna's coming at right mid, but the two injured boys are back. James Justin at left back. Wesley Fofana makes his first appearance of the series at centre-back. And he is here to stay at this point. He is so good. Chelsea line up. They've got five at the back. Anyone interested? In? It don't look like they're playing a full-strength 11. So, I think we've got a decent chance in this one. Right then, we have Chelsea as our opponent and there's a bit of blood between us after the FA Cup final. That game where Daniel Amati caused a right ruckus between the players. It's a very interesting rivalry we've got at the minute, but you know what? If Tillemans can score another screamer for us, I will definitely take it. Nice, Kags, good interception. And we're early. Vardy's about two years offside, but... There's a chance on the counter potentially. Viewers, let me know what you think in the comments about this one. Jorginho to win the Ballon d'Or. I'll be honest, I am firmly against this. I think he is a bang average player. He's got a penalty style that's just cheating. If you can't stutter in a run up, why are you allowed to hop? And I don't think he influences the game as much as other players have. Like Messi this year, for example, winning the Copper America. Lewandowski when he should have won it last year. They're the two players I think of his Ballon d'Or's up against. Not Jorginho because he was just part of a team that's won the Champions League and Euros. Don't get me wrong, I will give it to him. He's a very good player at controlling a midfield. But he's not a Ballon d'Or winner, is he? He's found Madison. Madison with some space. Madison, edge of the box. He's dragged that really far wide then. I think we deserved a bit better. Go on, Little Wes. Justin and Little Wes are combining there. Good defending, and they've played it out really well. Madison, he sees a run for Barnes. Barnes has got to get there before Silva. Does, cuts inside. Ball to Madison. Still on it. Shot blocked. Madison's got it in the box, though. Ricky P. Didn't overlap enough. Yuri's got it. Play it to Barnes. On the half volley. Decent effort. I can't have been too far over. No, it's only just. It's only because it was rising. That's a great effort by Barnes on the volley. Nice. Ricardo, very well defended. And we'll play that out. We don't. We've got half time. If you've got this far in the video, um, please humour me on this one. I'm thinking about bringing an old series back. Once this Leicester one's complete, and I'll be asking this a fair bit between this second, this and the second season of the career mode. But I need a league and a random number between one and a hundred. Long-term viewers of a channel, you might notice what series we might be bringing back. But viewers, humour me on this: number between one and a hundred and a league for a career mode. Thank you. Ball over, Vardy. Good save, Kepper. I also don't know why I said thank you. It makes it sound like a shop announcement that I've just done. Oh, we've been caught by the Chelsea counter. Don't let it be chill well. Ah, oh, Ricardo's missed the crop. Good save, Casper. Oh my god, they've hit the bar. I didn't really react. I thought that was a bit of a nothing ball in, but it nearly come to something. Justin with a ball forward, but Vardy's on a run. Vardy's cut back. Madison in the box, smashes it wide. Nicely done by Barnes. It's Tillemans. It's cut in. Go on. Oh, he nearly did it as well. He nearly did a similar goal to the FA Cup final. Uh, he's got round Ricardo again. Go on, Fafada. 
Good, you can't be beaten in the air by Kante. Nice. Tillemans has the space. It's not the ball. That ball needed to be put on Tillemans' right foot. He would have smashed it past Kepa. Wilfred and Diddy with a tackle. Vardy's in the box. He's hit it early. He's found the back of the net. Jamie Vardy is having a party. That's the chance we've been waiting for all game. One chance Jamie Vardy gets on the shoulder, smashes it across Kepo, finds the back of the net and puts us 1-0 up. Great finish. Two changes then. Daka's going to come on left mid for Barnes. Samori's going to come on for Tillemans. Nice. Samori's got the ball early. Plays a dink over to Daka. That is a beautiful pass. He's cut past James. Has Justin overlapping. Ball deep. Castagna. It's not Castagna, it's Vardy. Plays it to Madison. Dribbles past, he can't get the shot away. Nearly a nicely worked goal, but that's enough to get us the win in this match. Leicester 1, Chelsea 0. Great start to the episode. Okay, so it's not as must win as I first thought, but we are still two points behind Napoli. We've not lost in the Europa League yet, but the three draws we had at the start didn't do us any favours. A win here, though. Puts us in a very good position where we just need one more win out of the last. It won't even be that. It'll be one win in. We need to win the last game. So we need to beat Napoli. Otherwise it gets a bit scary if Liga Warsaw beats Spartak. So I don't want to change too much. So the team's not as weak as it could potentially be. Ian Acho up top. Perez right wing. Evans is back in at centre back. And Justin remains at left back. Should be strong enough, but you never know with Napoli. So we love these European nights down at the King Power Stadium. The atmosphere for this game in real life was absolutely brilliant. I'm hoping that the fans live up to it and I'm hoping that we can get the result. Also, I do apologise, but I forgot to show you at the start of the episode. I did play the Leeds game off camera. We did win that, I think it was 5-0. Might have been 5-1. But Yuri Tillerman scored two absolute screamers. That's why I'm a bit hyped on him at the minute. He's got a long shot in him on this game, I tell you. And a long pass. Great ball for Barnes. Barnes has nearly gone all the way. Perez has it in the box. Beats his man really well. Ian Acho's not there. Madison went in. A nice play out from the back. It's a risky brand of football we play, but it's an attractive one. Perez has been released down the right. He's had a great Europa League campaign so far. Smashes it into the side netting. Straight through to Yuri. Ian Acho's on the run. Get it onto his left. It's on his right. He's finessed it towards the keeper, if anything. Not the best effort, but a chance nonetheless. Good play again by Tillemans under pressure. Justin. Edge of the box. Ian Nacho has picked it up in the box. We're struggling to find a move. Yuri Tillemans is there. Tillemans is just going to smack it into the defender. You know, Osterman's made a decent run down the left. But Fafana is there to cut him out. Very well done, Wes. Ian Nacho gets tackled. Damn it. How has this happened? It's a 2v1 nearly. Just in cool of the angle. They've put the ball in. Undidi does enough. Good defending. See, I don't like it when they're getting in the box because it's two passes and they're away. They've got very lucky with that. Wesley Fafana though. Calm as you like. Get the ball out and see through the half. Good defending again. Madison. Ian Acho in the box. Good save keeper. Nice. Tillemans ball. To Madison. Back to Yuri. He's dribbled it through two of them. Well done. Couldn't quite find the finish. I know there was a pass to Ian Acho on. And I know I probably should have played that instead. Oh, Insigne is going to win that. Fafana against him though. I have missed Fafana. He's so good. He's roaming forward. He's even played Perez in. Perez. Ian Acho's in the middle. First time. Keeper can't keep it out. He's hit it just a bit too hard for him. And Ian Acho puts us 1-0 up. It's a great little run by Fafana in the meantime. Perez, beautiful ball over. 
We've just tried to hit it as hard as we can and it seems to have worked. Keeper can't really parry it to anywhere other than the back of his own net. 1-0 we lead. Won't go down as an own goal. It's Ian Acho's all day long. They are running straight through. Johnny Evans, take a bow. What a tackle. It's about to say they're running straight through after the kickoff. Perez again though down this right wing. He's loving the Europa League. Ball in. James Madison 2-0. Perez loves the Europa League. Again, he's running down the right. He sees the space. Look how much room Madison's got. And in the end, on the volley, puts it into a corner. 2-0 up. As you can imagine, crowd's probably going wild. We look like we're going through the group. Right, Barnes is coming off for Luckman. And to be honest, I've not even realised Barnes was on the pitch today. And Samori's come on for Tillemans. Samori, first thing he's doing, out to Luckman. Luckman's got some space. Back to Samori. To Madison. Nearly finishes the job. I see that famous run down the right wing by Perez. And I also see Samori. Ball doesn't quite make it that time though. Samori. See Inacho. I see Perez. He is offside. It's unfortunate, but he nearly nabbed himself a goal. Definitely, it's never say never. It's Perez down the wing. Koulibaly can't keep up to him. Perez, Iheanacho, nearly. It's not going to quite be the third goal, but it will do us. It's a 2-0 win against Napoli, and I'm pretty sure that sees us out of the group. There we go, that's confirmation then. We are out of the group, so I probably won't be bringing you the next and final group game of the Europa League. But I will show you where we'll pick up next because I'm going to play some off screen in the meantime. We are probably going to pick this up at, I reckon, Newcastle and Spurs. I know we got the Everton game there but I just feel like I fancy playing Newcastle and Spurs on camera. Then we're definitely playing the Man City Liverpool double bill. Then we're into January and we'll start making some signings and doing some wheeler dealing in there. So... That is what we've got to look forward to. Hopefully we're in January by this time next week. So you've got that again to look forward to. If you have enjoyed, leave a like on the video, comment with any feedback, subscribe to see more from us, and hopefully I'll see you next time. See you in a bit. Have a good one. Bye!